Oh my lord. Guys, this is the one I've been waiting for. Oh. What's up, Team Dink? I just got done working from home, and I'm so tired of looking at a computer screen, and I'm so ready to look at this trout stream. That's right, today we are trout fishing. Today, I'm gonna try to put these Joe's flies to use. As you know, I've been really into the whole Panther Martin thing with regards to trout fishing, but after numerous suggestions, I picked up some of these Joe's flies because you guys said they work. This multi-pack comes with several colors, as you can see, but I'm gonna start with something natural, and we'll switch if we have to. Oh, and one more thing. Quick shout out to some young Texas anglers. John down in Texas recently bought some mule jigs. Thanks, John. And he tells me that he watches my videos weekly with his four sons, Michael, Oliver, Noah, and Peyton. This video is for you folks. Okay, like I said, I worked all day, so I don't have very much time. Enough yipping and yapping, let's start casting bus and let's go. So we've got the choice between this kind of like white and brown and red one, pink, chartreuse, like a brown olive type color, yellow and orange. I'm thinking we'll just start with this kind of brownish color just because it's really natural and I just feel like, I don't know, it's probably their best chance at a trout. Ow, I just put a staple right in my thumb. So what's kind of cool about these is it's obviously a fly with a single hook, but then it has this little treble hook trailer. So hookup ratios will probably be better with this than a uh, little Panther Martin. But look at that, I made myself bleed. Every single time I fish, man, I find a way of making myself bleed. I fish with high visibility line, but I went ahead and put a little swivel on there and I put a four pound fluorocarbon leader just to have reduced visibility just in case these fish are finicky. The other thing to note is this is the stream I recently came to and actually missed two trout. And then I think I saw a brook trout. I don't know what the population is like here. There's a chance that we skunk today. No matter what, we're gonna enjoy a nice, beautiful day outside. Honestly, I have really high hopes for these Joe's flies. I think they look really good. So I don't think I have any split shot weights with me, but one thing that I've already noticed is that this is extremely light on its own. So my guess is moving forward, I probably would be better off if I put a little split shot weight above it. It's all good. I do have a little swivel up above it. So that'll add just a little bit of weight and help me cast. Oh, one just swiped at it. One already swiped at it. I've been fishing for like five minutes. Well, that was strange. So I basically had one come up and swirl on my spinner. I'm only five minutes in, and this is what it was just a really small pool. And I'm just trying to be as stealthy as possible. Unfortunately, he missed it. Now, the thing with this is, like I mentioned, is it's got a second hook underneath it. It's got this little fly, and then it's got a little treble hook right beneath it. So I'm hoping that short strikers will hopefully come get this. I think it's called the short striker, if I remember correctly. So it's really supposed to help with those short striking trout. I'm so fired up right now. I just gotta find one, man. I gotta get one. We really don't have very much time today, so I need to make sure that I continue to move and groove. Holy crap, there's a turkey in here. That scared the absolute piss out of me. Freaking little Tom. He's just heading for the... <laughs> little homie's just sprinting full speed. Turkey bout gave me a heart attack. Dude, I tell you what, I love me some wildlife, but I do not like it when wildlife scares me like that. I haven't even caught a fish and I can already tell this is gonna be a new confidence bait for me. That other side is a little deeper. It's got wood in the water. It's kind of got an undercut bank. I have a hard time believing there's not a fish over there. Oh my gosh. Oh my Lord. Guys, this is the one I've been waiting for. Oh my gosh, tank, 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 tank. And I mean a tank. I mean a freaking tank. Oh my gosh, it's an absolute meatball. It's an absolute meatball, look at its jaw. Holy freak, it's a freak of nature. Hands down, PB, PB. Oh my gosh, I gotta get him back in the water, treat him with respect, treat him with respect. Oh my gosh, you guys, oh my gosh. An absolute meathead. Guys, guys, hold the net open. I'm so stoked right now. My net's too small, so I got him unhooked. I'm just taking care of him. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm like so exhilarated. I don't even know how to think right now. I'm like mind blown. For those of you who have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I've been catching a lot of smaller trout and I've been super excited with those. But to catch that one right there is, oh my gosh, another level. I cannot wait to catch another one like that. If you thought I was hooked before, I am absolutely hooked now. Oh my gosh, I'm stoked. Man, I gotta give it to Joe's flies. Them things catch big fish. That's the first fish I caught on it and it was an absolute donk. I'm mind blown, I'm mind blown. Michael, Oliver, Peyton, Noah, that one was for you. I'm probably just gonna be talking about that fish for the rest of this video, I'm sorry. But uh, I'm stoked right now. 
This is the same stream that I fished and I did not end up successfully landing a fish in in one of my recent videos. I was talking about how to locate new streams. And what I'm gonna tell you, that's a great lesson. If you don't have luck in a spot one time, especially for trout, you sure as heck don't give up on it. Hey, look, a woodpecker, cool. Oh my Lord. Oh, gosh dang it, Ethan, stop looking at woodpeckers and focus on catching fish. Oh my gosh, he about took it out of my hands. No, 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 why did I miss him? Because I was staring at a stupid woodpecker. Guys, this is a problem. I have an addiction to looking at wildlife when I see it. And when I do that, I sometimes miss the objective of the day. That being a nice trout. That one wasn't as big, but it was still a respectable fish. You know, I'm always gonna be a bass fisherman at heart, but I gotta be honest with you, brown trout are dope. They are dope. There's another woodpecker, cool. I think a woodpecker must be my spirit animal. Maybe that's what, there's a fish. What? No, woodpeckers are not my spirit animal. Stupid woodpeckers. Every time I see a woodpecker, I miss a fish. Am I absolutely fired up? Yes. Am I disappointed that I keep missing opportunities? Yes. Dear Joe's flies, please send more. Man, the one I caught my PB on. There's a log under the water and it was just in this perfect spot where I know there's gotta be a brown behind it, but he was being stubborn. I know there's a fish there. There's not a doubt in my mind. Well, unfortunately I just lost the spinner that has caught me my PB and has actually gotten a little more action, but I tied on this one and it's very similar in color. It's got a little white in it though. So I don't think that's gonna hurt anything. I think these browns are pretty aggressive and I'm hoping that I can kind of start executing a little better and start catching a couple more fish. Regardless, I'm super stoked right now and I just cannot stop thinking and just reminiscing on that moment. It's weird guys, it's like I feel like a kid again. I'm gonna be honest with you for a second. When I first got into bass fishing, my first three pound bass was like, I was freaking pumped. I just, I just relived that moment with that brown. I'm 27 and I didn't think I'd ever get that excited about a fish again. No, <laughs> it came back, baby. Multi-species, man. I'm all about discovering new species. And right now, this trout kick, it ain't going away for a while. Anyways, time is running out, so I gotta catch one or two more fish and then we probably got a long hike back to the car. Regardless, I'm super stoked right now. Let's see what we can do. There he is. No, what the hell, my drag. No. That was a totally avoidable issue if I would have just been paying attention to my gear. I'm super disappointed I missed that fish. It was complete fault of my own. Here's what I'll say. The Joe's Fly Spinners do not have very big hooks, but I am not for a second gonna blame the hooks. I'm gonna blame myself for not having my drag set properly and for missing some of those opportunities. That was totally on me. Sometimes I set the hook a little too hard, and in addition, if my drag's not set right, I might as well not even come out. Always, 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 especially with light line, make sure your drag is set appropriately. Holy Oh my lordy, lordy, freaking son of a gun. There might be a little bit of poop in my pants right now. That turkey literally pooped on liftoff, which was really funny for me. So both the turkey and I pooped ourselves. The problem is the turkey wasn't wearing pants and I am. Today has been an interesting day, folks. My heart about jumped out of my chest. All I can do is scratch my chin right now because today was interesting. I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna edit this video. Basically, let me just recap. So we got out here, we thought, let's try the Joe's flies. I throw the Joe's flies, I immediately start having success. I catch my PB. I proceed to get several more bites, but I miss them because, well, I botched them. I break off that Joe's fly, I switch to a different color, I had one more bite, and then I didn't get another bite the rest of the day. Do I think that the trout liked that brown color? Yes. Do I think that I suck at setting my drag and executing on bites? Yes. Did I have fun today? Yes. Ultimately, I think it would not be a video of mine if I didn't have an absolute mess on my hands, if I didn't poop my pants at least once, and if I didn't break off at least one lure. Trout fishing for me is a mess, but guess what? The more that I do it, the easier it'll get, the bigger fish I will catch, and the more fun I'll have. Ultimately, I trust the process. I hope you do too. Thank you so very much for your support. It really means the world to me. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Uh, whatever they just shot, I hope it's not coming my way. I'm having an absolute blast documenting this process. I look forward to becoming a better trout fisherman, but what I like most about this is the process, the grind. You don't get better overnight. Enjoy the process, no matter what it is you wanna get better at. That's a little wisdom for you. Okay, I wanna go home, bye.